Hey guys, we are back in the workshop and as you can see we are in a different workshop. I found a nice space here near my old workshop. My old workshop was actually my garage but it's really close. I have 80 square meters and it's just awesome and I just wanted to show you to you and I will just uh, show you around. It's still in the building. I'm still getting some machines. I invested some money and I'm just building up because I also want to give knife making courses so therefore I have a lot of um, grinders now here, a lot of tables, a lot of space and it's just really awesome and I just wanted to show you around and um, I also showed a lot on Instagram but I also wanted to show more on YouTube and make some more videos. The only problem here is because here are also a lot of other workshops so it's sometimes quite loud here so it's hard to make videos um, but I just want to show you around what I have now and how I'm involving in my knife making because this is my plan for this YouTube channel to show you my way my journey on how to become a knife maker and how to become a business on knife making so we'll just start here um, we have a Rockwell um, machine to test the hardness of the knives also some G10 and um, to move on we have a disc grinder now um, because this makes stuff so much easier and also a fire extinguisher I have two of these because sparks are flying around rather have it than uh, not have it um, also have a VFD on it so this stuff is super nice for hand sanding, kitchen knives, cleaning up scales, also using Rhino Wet and I'm also having boxes where I use the cutoffs for hand sanding you know and just marked it with the different grids. So also first aid thing I think it's super important and I as a business in Germany need one of these. I have two um, just in case you know rather have it than not. Uh, moving on, um, we have my Milwaukee band saw. I love that thing. It's not perfect for stainless steel, but for G10, Kydex, and carbon steel, this thing is a beast. I maybe built a stand, maybe I will buy one. Um, at the moment, I just have it in a vise. The cool thing is, I can just swivel it around if I need to go to my drill press. So I can just swivel it. Moving on, here's my drill press. Um, you know the, the old good thing nothing has changed there vacuum cleaner some argon for welding um, here is my uh, oil for quenching in some quenching oil my old oven which I don't use at the moment anymore but I still will keep it for some tempering moving on my even heat comb I love that thing it's super awesome and it's also quite deep so you can do super long stuff in there. Um, I got some forging tongs because I want to get into forging. Now next to it I have my plate quenching setup. This is actually uh, the idea from Simple Little Life. You can just screw it down um, and it's also quite oily because what I do is when I quench my stuff in oil like O1 tool steel um, after they're quenched I put them in here just to keep them straight and um, that's why it's quite messy now uh, here is actually my kydex station so um, I have set up different spots so we have here the kydex station and everything so here we have my rivet press for setting up the eyelids or the rivets and yesterday I just built a second Kydex press so we can move uh, the Kydex a little bit faster and I'm using those big, big clamps here um, to you know press the Kydex and everything and here we have a t-shirt press actually and this thing is if that is not in the way you can just close it and it will heat up the Kydex before this one I used this little microwave oven but this thing is just a game changer in Kydex. Um, I will make a video about it actually today, I think, about Kydex making. So you will see more stuff of that on how I use it. 
and heat gun and heating tool you know to measure the heat um, nothing fancy down here we got my liquid nitrogen so I can now do also better heat treats because now I have everything for heat treating you know liquid nitrogen heat treating comb and the rock roll measurement thingy and so we get on point rock roll measurement and um, heat treating and also you, I can guys tell you what rock roll your knives will be now um, down here we got my tumbler for the stone wash and nothing too fancy and um, also my anvil is now at the moment here really unused um, I maybe will put it somewhere here which I gotta still clean up still in the building next to my anvil is my sandblasting cabin I know this thing is way too huge for Sa um, knives and sandblasting but um, I got it for a really good deal so I just thought why not getting it and it's super cool because it has its own vacuum system on the back and the lighting is also super nice and yeah you can put a lot of sand in there and it's just nice to have this big thing and no dust anymore there's a little bit on the ground but you know, this just drizzles down, but it's just a big game changer compared to the other one. Now, next to it is my big compressor, also my forge, which I still got to build a stand for, but I don't do that much forging, so there's no time at the moment for building the forge and, you know, start forging. Next to it, we got my whiteboard of optimism and my count belt grinder versus fingers. And here I just write on what I will do and for courses and stuff. So next to that we got my welder which I still got to set up. Didn't have the time. This is also then for forging. So when I start forging I will set everything up. My bandsaw is at the moment just, my wooden bandsaw is just a holder for my first aid kit and other stuff. Because I just used the Milwaukee one. Um, because it's just more versatile. Then I got my uh, circular saw. This one is super old. This is still from my dad and I think it's even older than me. Something like that. Or it's like some around me. I'm 23 now. So this thing is like at least 20 years old. So and it still works. Still runs. Super nice. Next to that we got my acid area. Um, so we got some coffee for coffee edge. Got some really thin um, ferrochloride for Damascus, and we got my um, really dark stuff for the D2 and stuff. And I just put some wooden boards on it so I don't mess up the floor. And yeah, so this is just my acid area at the moment. And here we got some knives which I'm just working on there, just soaking in some WD 40. And yeah, I will finish them today. Now here's my belt area, these are all the used belts and up here we got my fresh belts, we got a lot of belts, also then for the courses and stuff and I'm just going through a lot of belts and yeah, just to, it's really cool now to have like a nice belt rack where you can all store your belts and I can even put more on here because it's getting quite narrow actually here. Down here is my 16 inch contact wheel, I don't have a place for it at the moment and I don't want to store it on uh, the rubber because then you can get like um, flat spots so that's why I'm just having it around here. Now here is my KMG grinder which I think you haven't seen in a video. I'm also got a VFD on it. This is a KMG grinder which I mounted a direct drive to it. I still got a mount it or um, rewire it to 320, 310 something because at the moment it's at 230 uh, volt but I still can rewire it to um, three phase and then we have a little bit more power and here yeah, we just got all the attachments. I also can flip it, also got the idea from Simple Little Life and here is my old grinder, my Radius Master which is now a belt storage and I use this 
Rhino mostly for profiling because it's super fast. You have a um, contact wheels here, you've got a couple contact wheels up there, a flat plat, and so you can move really quickly and profile stuff. I love that thing for profiling and it's just a cool grinder. Moving up, we got the Clerics grinder here and these are just new, I just got them this week. They're similar to the KMG but a little bit more versatile. Uh, they also got a VFD so they're all speed adjustment, all that cool stuff. You can also flip them, yep, flip them. Um, so this is also pretty cool. Um, you got a draw for those small wheels and um, I will go in depth in them a little bit more later when I tested them. Also got cool work rests and tool rests and here is a second one. Just the same model and I will place a third one which I should get in two weeks hopefully with my surface grinder should be here so then we have three grinders for the courses and here's also my buffing machine with a paper wheel and um, a floppy wheel not sure the name and here are some contact wheels and stuff for that also for the courses now moving on in the middle I have a workbench set up we have four vices so three to four people can work here at the same time at the courses got a new workbench pretty cool this is the new one this is the old one after one and a half years a lot of dirt and fresh so uh, pretty cool to see the difference and my last thing is my dust collection system um, wasn't too expensive, I think a hundred, hundred bucks or so on Amazon and it makes life much easier if, uh, especially with dust because the G10 dust is just everywhere and with this thing I just can hook it up with a welding clamp to the table to all the grinders and then it just collects dust or kydex and all the fumes and you know it's just nice to have if you have the space I would highly recommend to get one because this one just sucks a little bit more dust than a normal vacuum cleaner I added. Like in my garage I had the vacuum cleaner on it, but this dust collection system is super nice. And if you have the money and they're not that expensive, I would highly recommend to get one. Now I still have a small room here. Just turning on a light. So this is just a storage room. Here's my old forge. And yeah, some kydex some steel, some G10 and tools and packing stuff. Yeah, here's some packet, packaging stuff, belts and cables. So this is just a storage room, but I'll probably clean it up and add some stuff because I maybe wanna put my Rockwell testing thing in here so it doesn't uh, get dusty that much. And I think that's it. This is my new workshop and if you compare it to my old videos you have seen it has changed a lot and I'm really excited for that. I'm just so happy now and I can just feel it also when I work I feel more free because the other workshop was so narrow and everything so I just feel more free to do more stuff. I just feel more comfortable here. And it's just super nice. I have daylight the whole day. I have big windows here, which I haven't had in a garage. And also the people around here are super nice and everything. So I hope I can produce more videos in the future. I really want to do it. And yeah, guys, if you, you know, I just started with knife making and I highly recommend it to you or also something different, you know, if you're just liking to do stuff, stuff with your hands, just do it. You know, I started with a file, now I'm here. And if you're creative, just do it. Don't sit around, just do it and, you know, jump over your shadow and just start making things and it's a lot of fun. So guys, I hope you liked that video. I know it's not the best video in the world, but um, just wanted to show you quickly around what I have here and what I'm, you know, what my business is coming to. So guys, I hope you liked that video. If you don't follow me now, 
you can follow me now and if you have any questions just drop them down below in the comments I will answer all of them and see you next time guys